Hey, 922 Church family, Pastor Tim here. By now, I'm sure most of you have heard about the new order that we'll be under over the course of the next 28 days, uh, an order that limits uh, the size of gatherings in public places to 25% of their capacity. However, there are some organizations and businesses that are exempt. Three of those are daycares and early childhoods, K-12 grade schools, as well as churches, religious organizations. So the order in and of itself doesn't really affect us. We wouldn't have to change anything. But that's not really the question that we've asked over the last few days or have asked throughout this entire process. What should we do? What's the best thing to do? How do we best accomplish the goals that we set from the beginning of this in keeping people physically safe and also spiritually rooted? How can we best do those things? And that's why it's so hard right now, because we know tests and positive cases are up in the valley and our state. We know our healthcare system and healthcare workers are being stretched right now. And we wouldn't want to do anything to make that worse as a church or as a ministry. But we also know we want to keep you spiritually rooted and physically safe. So online worship and in-person worship have both been going on to give you those options. We have safety plans in place for those in-person opportunities. We clean between services, social distance in the seats, uh, limit the points of contact, all with that goal. And it's been the goal the, the whole time since June when we restarted. And as we consider the new order, as we consider the, the positive tests going up, uh, we want to make sure that we can still keep people physically safe. And right now we believe we can. And because we've been offering the regular six in-person worship services, we have plenty of space. In fact, we wanted you to know that four of those six services are way below that 25% capacity that we could offer. In fact, only one is slightly over that number. And even in that one, we're still able to socially distance and with masks on, keep people physically safe. So we live right now, even in a time when the tests are coming back with more positive COVID cases than ever before. We don't believe that what we're doing and the way we're doing it um, doesn't allow for you to be physically safe if you're healthy and you're comfortable in worshiping in person. But I'd also want to tell you if right now you're not comfortable and you'd rather stay at home and you feel safer there, that you feel that's the right place to be, that's okay too. We'll keep doing the online live streaming and in-person services, uh, and we'll keep evaluating these questions all along the way because we still want to accomplish those goals. So members, watch for an email with a little more insight on this, some words of encouragement about the other routes and the other ministries and, and how this is affecting them. But above all, we want to just thank you for your prayers, not just for us, but for our community and our healthcare system. Uh, and we wanted to encourage you to stay spiritually rooted and also to stay physically safe. And God bless you. And I look forward to worshiping and gathering with you on Sunday, whether in person or online. Take care.